Sounds good. Thanks for the advice. Yes, 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 yes. Why don't you make any guides um, about everything and then make when someone asks, um, you would say a word, uh, but do you just uh, post YouTube link? Why, why I don't do that? <laughs> why don't I do that? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. I am trying to do it. But um, time, Anders, time, it, it just doesn't automatically happen. You, you don't just make a video in, in a second. Usually, like I personally want to try to make a good video if I'm going to make a video. The, the grind per hour videos that I'm doing right now, for example, they, they don't have to be that good, like I just need to get like average, um, a little bit more than average trash loot and then it's fine. But uh, if, if I'm doing like a guide or something, yeah, I, I need it to be better or try to be better than, than the existing guides on YouTube. Otherwise I don't feel like it's worth um, to, to do if I don't try to make it better. Um, but yeah, the number one reason why I don't do as much is because of time. If if I had more time, then yeah, I would do more. Of course. If, uh, if I could um, have enough view viewers on the stream to, uh, to like live on streaming, I would have more time to do more stuff. Something, something that I'm working on very actively. Yeah, I, I try, but it's not easy. It's not easy. What? Okay, we need to extend, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I, I know that I have to do that, like I, I know that I have to make YouTube videos, it's very good to do that, but... I, I try to be live streaming 8 hours a day as well. And, and sometimes, like sometimes, it's okay to not stream eight hours a day because sometimes uh, not not enough people want to watch the stream. Like it, it kind of depends um, depends if uh, if BDO is trendy or if Biceptimus is streaming or <laughs> it, it depends on a bunch of stuff. But um, on on days like that, yeah, sure, I I could make a video instead. But, but here's the funny psychology thing that happens too. If if I have a bad day streaming, naturally I, I, f I have less energy to wanna make more stuff. And, and that's, that's the thing that defines like, you know, if someone is struggling but they keep on doing it anyway, that, that's the thing that kind of defines a person in a way. It's like how, how hard they could be working at something to, to try and make it work. Um, it's easy to do things if you feel good, like if, if everything is perfect and, you know, it's easy to do stuff. But um, the other way around, if if things is always like, it, it doesn't work out the way that it's supposed to, or like, you know, it becomes a little bit harder, it can, it can be very hard, um, like mentally. So yeah, that, that's why. I just don't have any idea how streamers uh, succeed without YouTube, to be honest. No, it's, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. And I, I try to make YouTube stuff and I, I have a bunch of ideas, but... Um, I, I don't have time. 
most of the days. And the, the thing is also like I, I want to be a streamer. I, I want to use YouTube to, to benefit the stream. But I, I don't want to be a YouTuber. It could be like a mix between the two or something, like eventually. But I, I want to try to work on, like, I want to try to work on more, like, the streaming kind of thing, because I like it more. So it, it's good for my brain, like, it feels good doing something that I want to do more. But yeah, like, it, it goes hand in hand, like, if I do YouTube stuff, it goes kind of hand in hand with, um, with uh, Twitch streaming and, you know, it's beneficial in both cases. Uh, but where do you find the time to do everything? I I used to do... Uh, the, the first year of me streaming, I used to do streaming stuff. 16, like 12 hours to 16 hours a day. For, for the first year. And obviously that's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> but uh, a, a, few sh a few things have changed in my life uh, since I started streaming, that was like two and a half years ago. I I don't have as much time anymore. It's like I, I have obligations in real life I have to do. And, and then I also have a girlfriend. So, um, you know. If, if we could like rely on streaming to be like the income of the month, then I, I would do more stuff, like I would have more time to do things in uh, like, you know, make videos or I, I would have two hours at least every single day to do more stuff. But until we get to that point, I still have to do this other thing. It is hard to find time. And I, I also believe in a thing like because I, I used to do it like crazy um, in, in the first year and like going into like even one and a half years into it, I used to do everything like crazy, crazy amount of time. Uh, but that wasn't really, it, it was good, but it was also burning me out in, in a very bad way. And sometimes it's just more important to be consistent than what it is like, you know. It, it kind of depends, but sometimes it's more important to be consistent rather than to, um, to, to burn out, really. But yeah, some, some people think it's easy to make a vid video on YouTube and it kind of depends, but um, if you just want to upload a grinding video that we're doing right now, it's very easy. But, but if you want to upload like a guide or something, if you want to upload... Um, a crystal video or a, like that 10 minute video that is getting uploaded that, that's like 50 hours of um, of editing and trying to make good and and that's like an additional 50 hours that you know you you're streaming and and then you have to make this video <laughs> yeah it's, it's a little bit harder than than people think to um, to, to have the time to do that. You're a gamer? Yeah, we, we are gamers. Yes, that is true. Yeah, like some... Every, everyone has different... Um, different life, um, you know. Some people might not have a girlfriend. And, and they could have a bunch of time because of that reason. Or, or some people, you know, not working. Like me, for example, but I still have to do another thing, so it's kind of like working. Um, some people don't do anything, and, and they could have a lot of more time. So some people working and streaming, they, they just naturally gonna have less time. G good luck making YouTube streaming and working at the same time. Uh, and also if you have like a wife or something, if you have kids or stuff. Um... Yeah, 
yeah. So I, I, I know it for a long time. I, I need to make more videos. I, I even said like very early, like I should do short videos, like super early before short video was even a thing. It's like, I, I know about all of these stuff, but like, I don't know how to get more time. <laughs> I would have to sacrifice something. And, and that was the thing I talked about before, like, if, if nothing really is going on in BDO, and, and like BDO is not trending, or if the stream is doing less good in a day or something, I, I could wrap it up a little bit faster. And, and then I would have a little bit more time to like, ma make a video. But, but I haven't been a thing now for a little bit of time. Um, video's been trending, the, the channel's been popping off really. Uh, we had Twitch drops and, and stuff like that. Um, so there, there haven't really been a moment like that when I could, when I could do that. Yeah, for me, for me personally, I um, I don't even really, like I don't even make any money from YouTube, but uh, for for content creators that make money on YouTube, and and they also make money on Twitch, they they would kind of have to do both. Like they they would have to make like a video every week, um, and and then they would have to stream X amount of hours um, on a weekly basis to to you know have enough money to, to pay for rent or something. Well, for me personally, we, we kind of far away from that point. So I, I don't, I don't have that must, um, yeah, so that, that's the long answer. Why, why don't I do more? I, I don't have time. I, I feel like I'm doing a lot. So we, we're still doing a lot, even if we, um, we, we cut down on some time. Yeah, speaking speaking about it because we're speaking about it. There, there is another thing too. It's not only about like how much you do it. It's also like the, how you do it. It's like the the quality of it. If uh, if the quality is bad, but you do like twelve hours streaming every day, it, it might not be that good. If you compare that with like an eight hour good quality stream, if that makes sense. I do have um I, I just barely started it but um, yeah, there is a crystal video in the makings but I I have to wait a little bit longer like after Wednesday unless we uh, get extended twitch drops um, to to really start on that really and and then I hope I have that video out by the end of the week yeah um, that, that's the plan at least to have the crystal video be released at the end of the week.
I, I feel like if I didn't have this other obligation I had to do, I would probably like, you know, I could I could make a video every week. I, I would make one YouTube video every week and I would, we would be streaming like eight, eight to ten hours a day. And, and then even do some some more stuff. So uh, with the with the sub badges or etc etc work work on the Discord stuff or Yeah, one one thing I'm doing right now is um, because we're killing these monsters so fast, even the elite ones. That I'm I'm not pulling the elites to um, to the other packs, but I I feel like that should be good because we we still kill them like very fast. I think so. Uh, at this point, it might be might be better to just do it like this. Uh, no, really. Fuck down. Yeah, let's see how much uh, trash loot we get here in an hour with a blue. Then we can just add uh, 1.5. Uh, see how much, uh, see how much that is to, with, with a yellow. Yellow, yellow. Uh, the reason why I don't want to do it on on yellows is because my uh, my inventory space is uh, pretty bad. So I, I would just have to use a bunch more maids or um, or go to the horse a lot of times. Um, that that would just make me get less less trash loot. So we we do it on a blue, and and then we can just we we do some math.
think maybe I forgot about the tent buff, um, uh, the item drop rate. But, uh, that's good. I, I mean, it's not good, but <laughs> uh, that's not the reason why we're here. Do, do we have any predictions in the chat how much uh, trash loot we could be getting? Twenty-eight K. Uh, do do you mean that with like uh, yellow and agris? Yeah. So well, what is that with a blue? <laughs> is that like twelve K with a blue? Yeah, no, the, the reason why I'm not using uh, yellow or agris is because um, my my inventory space, uh, I mean my inventory weight is kind of bad. So I, I would have to use the maids and the horse like all the time. But we we can we can just do a little bit of math um, and, and then we see how much that and uh, like, you know, well, what that goes up to. Usually what people love to do on YouTube, uh, especially, is that they wanna they wanna do like a grind rotation with a yellow. And and that's usually how people post... Um, that, that's how they post uh, grind per hour videos. So usually what I would do is... Um, I, I would just play with a blue, but then I add... Um, multiply it by, by 1.5. It's the same, it's like it's the same thing. Maddie. 
You grinding the flame? Um, no, not really. I I'm just um, I'm I'm making a recording of uh, how much trash loot we can get here. So I'm I'm just trying to do this like a little bit like a little bit sweaty, but but not too sweaty. Yeah, so you just get a get a good number. I, I kind of, like I kill the monster so fast that I don't really need to pull the elites uh, to the other packs. Um, it, it is just easier to kill them at at the spot, and and that's gonna be different, obviously. Like if um, if you don't have enough gear score or something, the the way to play at that point would be to pull the elites uh, to um, to another pack so they could be exploding. But if you have enough gear, then uh, you kill the monsters fast enough anyway. You you would kind of lose time if you're trying to pull the elites um, to the second pack. Yeah. Yeah, 5.7k right now. 5.7k, uh, we, we're done 29 minutes. Why do you use Exquisite instead of Crun? Uh, usually for the back attack, but um, it, it's not the biggest difference either way. Uh, for me, I, I don't I don't really need to think about like staying alive. So having having like monster damage reduction or anything like that, it, it doesn't like matter to me. But usually if I if I play a play like a place like Hex for example, if if I can just have a little bit more Well what is it like back attack? It, it could be a little bit better, but it, it's not a big difference. Uh, Gyphen Underground, um, that, that would be even more like if you can have that back attack, yeah, um, that, that would be a little bit more beneficial. I, I forget if it's even back attack. Yeah, it is back attack. Wait, do, do the other one have back attack? It's like in, in my opinion, the difference between um, exotic and um, cron meal, uh, I mean exquisite and cron meal is um, it is very like, it's almost no difference in my opinion. If if you want to get that like, you know, that the 100 more trash loot or something, the, the 50 more trash, like 150, you know, okay. Hopefully that guy is not gonna take my um, my spot right there. You tried where well, you tried land with the new black uh, way back attack crystals. Uh, no. I uh, I don't like the new back attack crystals because you you have to swap the uh, you have to swap out to corrupt the crystals. In in my opinion, just uh, thinking about it, that would only be beneficial in a place like Gyphen. And the difference wouldn't be that big. It would be a small difference. So you had a Gyphen, a Quint, for example. But um, most of the other places, if you if you switch out uh, the Corrupted for, um, for, for the new back attack, then you, you're gonna lose on it. Uh, by quite a lot, actually. Corrupted is still very good. 
in in a lot of places where most of the attacks is um, it's not back attack. In in a place like Hex, for example, you only get like around twenty percent of the the back attacks, really, if you even try. The other one has down attack. Yeah, so if if you go to a place like um, maybe if you grind a place like Akman, for example, dude, really. If you play a place like Akman, it could be good to run the other one, but... Uh, the way that I go about it is uh, it's not that big of a difference, really. And if, if it's not that big of a difference, then it, uh, sometimes you can, uh, like you, you don't have to go overboard, um, you know, min-maxing every single thing in the game, because that is just too much. You know, usually, like, usually people don't play super efficient every single hour. And if you were to think about that, playing playing super efficient compared to, like, casually or semi-sweaty even, it is a big difference on trash loot per hour. It is way more than, like, buffing up, um, with, with having, like, party elixirs, um, instead of running a giant rot or something. So yeah, if, if you're thinking about like a food buff, it is very minimal, super minimal. But it, it could be good if you if you need to have more if you need to have more defenses, um, if you're lacking DP or something, um, get, get that monster damage reduction that could be pretty good. Back attack crystals are big gear for classes with low base crit. Um, true. On on the land, that's not the case though. Um, I I do a lot of damage with that crit, and it it, it does depend on what class you play too. Like some classes, not really too great at moving around, so. They, they don't really benefit too much uh, playing with uh, back attack uh, stuff. So they mo most of the time stay very stationary. Mo most of the times they hit uh, the monsters like straight on. In in other cases, you play classes that can move around very easily, and yeah, getting the back attacks is um, easier. Yeah, I, I just started playing with the new crystals. I um, I have like two decimations now, and um, I, I have the Girin crystal. I I play with uh, four Makalad ultimate crystals. I I could want to try out the back attack crystals. You used to like make a test on it, or yeah, I just. Just to see like what what the difference is really like more specifically. But usually that would take like usually that would take a few hours um, to get an average number. So we will see we'll see if I want to do a test or not. You, you can't really, like, if you do it one time, it is very sketchy. It's like you, you do a one hour test, uh, that, that's very sketchy. It's like during that one hour, you can, like, you, you can play better. You can play worse. You can, you can be unlucky with the pulse or something. Um,
So yeah, we have 23 minutes left. Uh, no. Why does this happen? Five. Uh... 
I think it's worth running Perfume of Courage uh, since it's a 30% cap. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, true. True. Uh, maybe a Deep Sea would be better. It's a 10% back attack. But it's okay. It's okay. I, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to get like the the best money per like I'm not trying to get the best trash but um it is good if I can make like as much as I can playing this way But you should like when uh, the I'm I'm actually like I'm <laughs> I'm I'm recording right now so like I, I'm trying to make like a grind per per hour video. The the thing that I care about is um, I I just need to make like good trash, and and then like that's fine. I I don't need to get like the most trash or that, that's not important to me. Uh, but that would be um, that would be um, cool. Uh, sometimes I've done videos like that. Sometimes I am. Um, I do it just a little bit less, um, a little bit less sweaty. I was the same PvP. Uh, one versus one is not too good. In uh, in large scale, it can be okay. So at at that point, it kind of depends on what you play. Like if you play capped uh, node war or, um, or or not capped. If you play no cap, I think it's gonna be harder. So that that's my basic uh, understanding of it because I I haven't done it, but I I haven't heard anything like you know I haven't heard anything crazy about Vusa being good in um, in PvP. But yeah, I I think I think it could be good in a in a cap node war situation maybe. But uh, but good is very um, it, it depends on what you um, compare it to. Gate Forest is just so enjoyable. <laughs> it, it is pretty fun. I I've been I've been saying that since the beginning. Like a, a lot of people hated on Gate Forest when it got released. But me me personally, like I I I think it's I think it's a nice grind spot. The only issue that Gate have the, the monsters is that some some of the classes they go through the monsters when they attack them sometimes. It's like sometimes the monsters do some kind of weird iframe or something. Even even those um, like the the lamps, sometimes you go through you go through the lamp um, just attacking it. If if they just were to fix that one little thing, then it would be perfect. This is okay. On one versus one, not bad. Wait, are, are you saying the Vusa is good in one versus one? Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't really see that. The, the thing is like if uh, usually you'll be fighting classes to have a grab or something and if you want to be competitive, right? Um, it's gonna be pretty hard to win against the competitive classes in this game. Um, in in the one versus one, Awakening Lan, Circer, Striker, <laughs> Awakening Ranger, um, Warrior, even even Drakania Awakening.
Uh, could, could be a few other classes that it could be struggling against, but... Some of these uh, skills here are pretty stationary, that's why. And and then like yeah, Vusa, Vusa not really too, um, it's not really tanky, so it's a little bit squish. And uh, damage output is like, it's okay, but it's nothing crazy. So that, that's how I try to think about it. It's like you you compare that with um, with the stronger classes in BDO. Like some some of these classes, they have all of the things, like crazy DPS. They have grabs and crazy protection, crazy tankiness at the same time, healing PAs and <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not saying that you can't do it, but. In, in comparison. I I think I think the Vusa can struggle a little bit. But yeah, I mean I'm I'm thinking. I, I haven't played it in PvP. And, and like I said before, I never heard anything about Vusa being great at PvP, or, or like, you know, not, not even good in PvP. Usually, usually everyone that plays a Vusa, they have a PvP character. And, and that kind of tells you something. Uh, at least, uh, at least my friends that play Vusa, they have the like they have the other like PVP character tagged. Um. She can be if she gets uh, to control the pace of the fight. Yeah, uh, but how do you do that against the competitive strong classes? Because all all of the competitive strong classes are very very fast and they they have grabs and very good damage and protections and iframes and <laughs> you know like a ninja awakening lan awakening ranger warrior circer. Even a striker might, might not be the fastest class, but awakening Dracania. Those type of classes, they um, pretty hard to win against classes like that, to be honest. You don't compare. But it's okay for me. You win a lot of duo for spot. Yeah, but uh, okay, that's good. But it, it is pretty important though to uh, to compare if you want to know like how good a class is or not. Uh, that's usually how how you find out.
They're buffing Succession Ranger. Yeah, I, I heard something about that. <laughs> uh, was there, yeah, something, something about that. I, I also heard something about them like buffing Succession Ranger PvP damage as well. A little bit. I don't I don't know if that, that is true. Like I, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but we we could take a look at it um, on on the global patch uh, eventually. Asman is streaming video. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> Everyone head over to Asman Gold. Yeah, but that's uh, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he raids uh, by Septimus by the end of the day. Okay, this is the last last pack. Alright, let's take a look at how much we did, uh, 12,332, calc, 12, 12,332 uh, times 1.5, 18,000. 